Hey guys, cold and flu season is here and I wanted to share with you an easy recipe that I like to make and have on hand for the fall and winter seasons when everyone's getting cold or I'm around people that are sick and I don't want to get sick because who really has time to be down and sick? So last winter I took this and I didn't get sick. I had like maybe a cold for like a day and a half and then I kept taking this elderberry syrup and I got better. So last winter I was doing like a mix of elderberries and then I always um, use essential oils. So I really didn't get sick last winter and I've been using the elderberry syrup, syrup for two seasons. So I swear by it, it is high in vitamins A, B, and C and it's been known to stimulate the immune system. So I like to take it or if you feel like you're getting a cold or you feel like you're coming down with something, you can take a tablespoon of this and it will help like, um, it'll help your immune system and it can knock the cold right out. So I'm going to show you how to make it. It's really easy. I do buy my elderberries online. If you can find them at your local um, organic markets or health food stores, great. There isn't really a place nearby that sells them, so I do buy them online and these are organic elderberries. So they come, it takes, I think it took like two days to ship, but I usually buy a really big bag just so I have them on hand because they're not really easy to find around here. So it's really easy to make. You can also find elderberry syrup if you don't want to make it yourself, if you want to just take the syrup or you're in a pinch and you don't have time to make it. Um, you can find it at your local health food stores. I think even, I know our Vons carries it, so some of your grocery stores may carry it. But it's a lot less expensive if you make it at home. And it's nice, you can have it on hand, just keep it in the refrigerator. So I'm going to show you how to make it and we're going to get started on the stove top. The preparation time is really quick, but it simmers on the stove for about an hour to an hour and a half. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And this is something that you can set on the stove top and then you'll just put your um, temperature to low and then you can go and do whatever else you need to do around the house. So if you want to, you know, catch up on things or do whatever, I like to make this um, on the weekend. So I'll have it simmering and then I'll be like cleaning the house or doing something else. So it goes by fairly quick, but the prep time, it just takes seconds to throw everything into the stock pot. And then um, the rest of the time is just basically simmering. So let's get started and I'll show you guys how to make it. Okay, so I have our pan on the stove. I have the temperature set to a medium heat and we're gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of our elderberries. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add those in. So we need a half a cup of our elderberries and then I'm adding two cinnamon sticks to the pot. You can add two cinnamon sticks or you can add two teaspoons of cinnamon. And then I forgot to mention, I do have the pan um, filled with three cups of filtered water. So I have the water in here, and then I put the half a cup of elderberries, and then I added the two cinnamon sticks. I'm gonna go ahead and just stir this around. The next ingredient that we're going to add is our ginger. And for this part, you can use either two tablespoons of fresh grated ginger or one teaspoon of powdered ginger. So we're gonna go ahead and add that and then we're gonna let this um, boil. Once it starts to boil, we are going to turn the heat down from medium to a low simmer. And we're basically gonna want to have this um, get down to about um, halfway. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let everything sit and just stir it um, periodically. So all we have in here is our water, our elderberries, the cinnamon sticks, and then our ginger. So I have everything in here and I'm just gonna let it boil. So we basically want this to boil until it gets about halfway down. And then I'm gonna turn off the heat and we're going to let it simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour on low. So the elderberries have boiled and I've now turned the heat to low. So as it was boiling, the water went down to about half. So that's when I turned it down to low. So now I'm gonna let this just simmer on the stove top for about 45 minutes to an hour. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just gonna set the timer and I'm gonna go ahead and let this just simmer and that's it. So it's just gonna sit. I'm gonna pull it off the heat and let it cool and then we'll go ahead and add the next step to it. Okay, the elderberries are all done on the stove top. I let these simmer for an hour and a half. So the next thing you want to do after you let these cool, so after I let them simmer on the stove, I took this off the heat and I just let them cool for about 20 minutes. The next thing you wanna do is get a large bowl and then you can use a nut or milk bag or just a sieve. That's what I'm gonna use today. 
and I'm just going to put this over my bowl and we're going to transfer the liquid in here. So you want to basically press the elderberries and get all like nutrients and um, all the goodness out of these. So I'm just going to pour this in and then the cinnamon sticks are just going to lay on top too. So we're just going to press all the juice out of the elderberries and you'll want to take a spatula to do that. So basically just kind of press like that and all the juice will just drip down in there and that's exactly what we want. Okay, so I went ahead and I pushed all of the juice from the elderberries into our bowl. And so I just took the spatula to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just remove this and I'm just going to um, dump the berries. I'm not saving those. And then the next thing we're going to do is add one cup of honey. And this is just an organic raw honey that I'm adding. So we're going to add the honey to our um, syrup. And we're going to go ahead and just mix this up. And then the next thing we're going to do is just um, place it into our mason jar or whatever jar you have. If you have a, um, a jar saved, if you have like pasta jars or if you save your glass containers, um, go ahead and put that in there. But I'm just going to use a mason jar and I'm just going to stir everything together. I'm going to store this in the refrigerator and this will stay good for about four months in the refrigerator. And if you want to take it as a preventative, adults would just take one tablespoon. Um, when I feel like I'm getting sick, I'll usually take a tablespoon in the morning and then one like midday or in the evening. And then um, children could take one teaspoon. I would not advise this to um, infants or children under 12 months just because of the raw honey. Um, you wouldn't want to give that to babies or um, a child under 12 months. So um, this is awesome stuff. I love it. And it actually, it tastes really good. I remember the very first time I was like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Like when I poured it out into my um, tablespoon, I wasn't really sure if I would like it, but it actually is a really, has a really good taste. So I just take a tablespoon just for preventative and um, that's really it. And this is so much more um, cost effective if you make it yourself because you can have it on hand. And like I said, if you buy this at your local health food store, I know um, Vitamin Shop even carries an organic um, elderberry syrup. It's a 5.4 ounce and I think right now it's on sale for like $22 or $23.99, but it's normally $32.99. So if you get an organic elderberry syrup, you're paying, you know, between $17 up to $30. If you just buy like a regular elderberry, you're probably going to pay between like $9 and $15. If you make it yourself, it's so much less because you can get a 16 ounce bag of elderberries and it's going to cost you, and they're organic elderberries, it'll cost you anywhere depending on if they're on sale because sometimes they do run a special. You can get them between $12 and $17 and you're going to have them and you're going to be able to make the elderberry syrup multiple times with that one bag. So I like to have it on hand just because cold and flu season, you know, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. It comes around every year and there's always people that you're around that's sick or, you know, you feel like you're coming down with something. It's always nice to have something on hand that's natural and you can take it to build up your immune system or ward off colds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.